Check it out, this is crazy. My silver play button is melting. Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video, I thought it'd be fun to focus on the YouTube silver play button. If you start a channel on YouTube and gain 100,000 subscribers, YouTube will send you one of these. It's a silver play button award to celebrate your dedication and your success. But the funny thing is, they're not really made of silver. And over the years, they've gone through a number of size, shape, and style changes as well. So for this video, I thought it might be fun to try casting a metal play button of our own, only this one will have some very quirky characteristics. This here is the play button that I just created. Now it is a little bit frosty because it's been sitting in the fridge overnight, and you'll understand why in just a minute. But it is pure and solid metal. If we flip it over and look at the back, you can see that shiny metallic surface, and if I drop it on the counter, you can hear it makes the clinking noise you expect solid metal to make. But here's the interesting thing. If you strike up a flame on a barbecue igniter and hold it just under the corner of the play button, watch what happens. You can see that within a matter of seconds, the tip of our play button starts melting off. How crazy is that? Look at that. It's melting off and forming a little puddle of molten metal in the bottom of our dish. Which is crazy, right? Isn't it supposed to take an insane amount of heat to melt solid metal, not just the flame from a barbecue igniter? But despite that fact, our play button is melting. Look, it's coating the inner surface with liquid metal. <laughs> we just ran around that track now and it's leaving behind a residue. That's really cool. Whoops, it just splashed right all over my countertop. Look at that. And it's already hardened. I wonder if we could like peel that off with a spoon. That's crazy. Shiny. So update guys, we just used a small flame from a barbecue igniter to actually melt the tip off of our play button. But this next experiment is even cooler. I just went and filled up a glass with warm water and now if we stir our play button into it, look what happens to the metal now. In just a second you're going to see the metal melts off the surface and drips down to the bottom. Molten, shiny silver metal liquefied by water. That is pretty cool. Just like an ice cube would dissolve in hot water. Our metal play button is doing the same. You can see I've melted off quite a bit of this metal here. Parts of it are still liquid and dripping off the surface. At this point, I wonder if I could break it in half. <sighs> Surprisingly, it is still very, very solid metal, despite it melting off in my hands as we go here. So let's talk for a second about what we've been noticing here. This solid play button, once it got in contact with a flame, would melt and little beads of metal would start dripping off. Now they dripped off into this dish and some of it splattered onto the counter and you can see if we take something like a spoon and just nudge at it, the metal has completely solidified and turns into a type of foil, almost like tin foil. You hear that? It's screaming. Like when I push into it, it starts screaming. But if we swirl it into a glass of hot water, you can see the metal melts off and collects at the bottom, forming a molten pool of shiny metallic metal. And yes, this really is molten metal, but here's the curious thing about it. It's not actually hot enough to burn you. Now, if you haven't figured it out by now, the metal that I used to create this play button is gallium. It's number 31 on the periodic table of elements, and it's got one of the lowest melting points of all the metals. Gallium is in group 13 of the periodic table of elements because it shares a lot of similar characteristics to metals like aluminum and indium. But unlike those metals, the melting point of gallium is so low that you can actually melt it with your body heat. It's relatively safe to handle because gallium is considered non-toxic. However, it is extremely corrosive to other metals like aluminum and steel. Now, interestingly enough, gallium is not found anywhere on Earth in its natural elemental state by itself. The stuff that we have here is a byproduct of mining other metals like aluminum and zinc. And it's extremely expensive. The play button I created here today cost me about $300. It's quite heavy. And look, it just slipped right through the cracks of my fingers. <laughs> right onto the counter. And because the counter is cold, you can see the bottom of this mass is already solidifying. It's already getting quite hard. Oh, it's still a little bit liquid at top. That's crazy. It looks like it's solid, but some parts are still liquidy. Whoa. Half solid, half liquid. That's kind of cool. This stuff's got a really unique weight to it. I mean, it feels pretty heavy, but it's extremely runny at the same time. If I jiggle it back and forth, I can actually feel the waves of motion flowing through it because they kind of come to a hard stop as they bounce up against one wall and bounce back. Very cool. Oop, and extremely runny. Oh boy. Yeah, residue. Look at the way that just peels off.
Oh good, it just flakes right off. Now I got my gallium on Amazon. It's very expensive, but I'll put a link down in the description in case you want to get some yourself. It comes in a container like this, and when you open it up, it looks like a solid chunk of oxidized metal because that's basically what it is. But to melt the stuff down, it's as easy as grabbing some hot water and throwing it in there for a few minutes, or just using a propane torch and gently licking the sides and getting it to melt off that way. The cool thing about gallium is you can use it over and over and over again. You can cast metal objects that are still extremely hard, but then with a little hot water, you can easily melt them down, liquefy them, and cast something else. What's interesting about this, if you look down there right now, you can see it's kind of a dull gray. Watch what happens if I heat it up and stir it up a bit. It's so weird, it's like the surface of the metal just stops, but you can still see the motion swirling around there somehow. It's so interesting, super crazy. Well, I'll just wipe the slag like we would normally do, and it's ready to pour. Now making my gallium play button was just about as simple as you might think. All I did was take a little propane torch or map gas torch and I melted down a chunk of gallium into its liquid state. Then I took one of these silicone play button molds that I made a while ago and filled it up and let it sit in the fridge overnight. I also found that the warmer you get the gallium, the shinier the metal gets. That's pretty much it. That right there is how you make the world's first metal play button that'll melt in your hands. So let's summarize what we just learned here today. Gallium is a metal with a melting point so low you can melt it in a glass of hot water. You can also recast that metal into nearly any shape you want and it still has the look and hardness of other metals like aluminum. It's very expensive because it doesn't naturally occur on Earth. It's a byproduct of mining metals like aluminum and zinc and you can find it on eBay. <laughs> well guys, thanks for joining me for this experiment today. It has been awesome hanging out with you and I'll be looking for you in the next video. Talk to you then. Ow. Ow! <laughs> yeah, play with fire, you get burned. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and remember, I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.